In the previous uh, videos, we have seen that MIPS has uh, three types of instructions. One is R type, and then other one is I type, and then we have J type instructions. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can encode those instructions. First of all, we'll be starting with R type instruction, and we'll see how we can encode an R type instruction. Before going into that encoding, let's uh, design, uh, let's draw the uh, format of the R type instruction. So this is uh, our R type instruction. So the format, uh, format would let's let's see how the format would look like. Uh, so in in R type instructions we have uh, op code, we have op code, which is uh, six bits, and then we have R S which is our first source, which is 5 bit. Then we have RT, which is our second source, which is 5 bit. We have our destination, which is RD, which is again 5 bit. We have shifting field, so S, H, A, M, T, which is 5 bit. And the last field is function field, F, U, N, field which is again 6 bit. So the objective of encoding is to we look at the instruction and we would design, we would generate the binary equivalent of that instruction that, that, that could be accommodated in the in this 32 bit format. So let's say we have an instruction R type instruction which is this. Let me use different color for this one. Uh, so, let's say the instruction is this. Add 10, 11, and 12. So, this is our instruction. This is our uh, first, uh, let's say, uh, uh, for this discussion, this is our first art type instruction. So, this is destination this one is source 1 and this one is source 2 now if we try to map this instruction uh, with a high level uh, code then this would look something like this x equal to y plus z where according to this uh, uh, instruction x will be in register 10 y will be in register 11 and z will be in register 12 so this is uh, what this 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 is our high level part and this is our assembly assembly part now our job is to encode this which means we need to encode it in a form that our hardware understands to do that. So the first thing that, that we need to uh, feel is this opcode part. Now you, you should remember that for all R type instruction, this opcode 6 bit will be 0. So let's write this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this will be six zeros and then RS, this is our RS, that means register 11, which is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then RT, that is our second destination uh, source register. So this is 12. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then our destination, this is our destination, which is 10. 0 1 0 1 0 and then it's shift amount so in this instruction 
Did we do any kind of shifting in this instruction? Did we do any kind of shifting? The answer is no. Since we did not do any kind of shifting, that means there is a zero bit shifting uh, uh, taking place, which means we'll have we'll put zero here. This. Now we are left with that function field where we need to have six bits. Now the idea is we we are not going to memorize the uh, function uh, value for this uh, for add in this case it's add but there are other instructions there are other uh, art type instructions for example uh, we have sub which is also art type instruction we have sll which is also art type instruction we have and these are logical operation or and so on these are all R type instructions, but uh, we are not going to memorize this function field because uh, these function fields are going to be in in the question. They are, they, are, uh, they, they will be in the question, so we'll see the value integer integer value of those function uh, function bits or function uh, uh, the value that uh, these these uh, opcode uh, has uh, in the function. So uh, since we do not know, let's put this. So this is what the encoding would look like. Now, if I write it, if I write it here, uh, so we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 and then we have this undefined uh, or unknown part just little bit more uh, 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 work remains and that is we would like to convert this entire 32 bit into uh, hex hex uh, number so we all know how can we do that we, we need to take four bits from this representation and so on so this will be zero this will be one and this one will be four to six and this one will be 12 which is a b and c and this is 5, this one is 0 and since uh, we have this unknown field so we, we do not know the value of this. So this is the hex representation of our AND instruction which actually comes from this instruction. Okay.